Hey guys, my name is Chris, and today on Better Editor, we are going to learn about my favorite trick in Adobe Premiere. It is called the Add Edit, and it is something that you can add to your keyboard right now to make you move faster. Let's see what it can do. There is no doubt in my mind that the hotkey that I am using today is my absolute favorite hotkey of all time. It saves so much time when you utilize it in your workflow, and it is called the Add Edit. Now, what does the Add Edit do? The Add Edit adds a cut anywhere you want it, right where your blue playhead is in your timeline. It's so much faster than using the Razor tool to do the same thing. And to prove that, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this cut. Let's see what this thing looks like. So the example we're using today is a really simple sequence that I threw together. It's a masterpiece, I know. The cool thing is I'm gonna let you download this footage and this music if you wanna play around with the add edit key on your own. Just check out the description in the link below. All right, so let's build this cut the old fashioned way with the razor tool. We'll come here, make a new sequence, gonna be ProRes 2398, and we'll call it Mustang Overdrive V2, why not? And drag it up here. Okay, let's load our music. And I know that I wanna use this end part of the song. I already have the endpoint marked for good measure so you hear what it sounds like. Right there where that guitar comes in. That, so I'll mark it in, come here, and we'll drop it into the sequence. Great, stretch this out so we can see what we're doing. And let's play this back a little bit. Okay, so I think right here, I want to add a cut and I'm going to move this end part of the song right there. Right where that last little beat is. So we'll select this and delete. Okay, stretch that back out. Sounds good to me. Now, Let's grab our first guy. We'll clear our in and outs. Shift X on the Better Editor keyboard. Drag this into our sequence and hit play. Cool, right? This first really big beat, I know I'm gonna wanna have a jump cut. So I'll come back, grab my razor tool, come all the way back over here, add a cut. And right when this dude starts to push the shifter forward, yeah, right there, I'm gonna make another cut and move those two things together. Cool. All right, and just to add a little more spice, let's match frame into that. And right when he starts to pull his hand away, I'll mark an endpoint. We'll come here, do an in, nice little three point edit and overwrite. Let's see what we got. Feels good. Okay, let's check out our last clip. Pull it in here, and I'm just gonna drop this whole clip into the sequence. We can move that down. And to finish things up, we'll add a cross dissolve, make it one second, and there we go. Let's see what we got. Cool, so we rebuilt our edit, but I promise you we can do it faster if we use the add edit key. So to prove that, we're gonna do the whole thing again from the top. So I'll control A and delete everything. So again, we'll pull in our music. We've already got our endpoint set, so I'll drop it into the sequence. Now let's listen for that beat again. All right, so right about there. Boom, look at that add edit. All I did was hit G and it added an edit right here. And the reason it did that is because this track is selected. Let me undo that. Now, 
if I unselect this track and hit G, nothing happens. If I select it, it adds a cut. But what you could also do is with the track unselected or selected, you could select the clip and add the edit. Okay, so let's keep going. And we're gonna move our beat. I think I'm a frame off. Okay, select that, delete it, and delete that. Wonderful, stretch that out, come here. See our driver footage. We're gonna clear that in and out, drag it into our sequence. And again, right there on that hard beat, right here, let's pause real quick. I don't want to hit the G key without selecting something because V1 and Audio 1 are both targeted, so it's going to add a cut in both of these places. I don't want that. So let me undo that. I'm just going to select this clip and hit G to add the edit. Drag it forward right until we shift forward. Again, looking at the shifter. Drag this over here and boom. Okay. And let's go find that other clip that we wanted right here where we let's go of the key. That's what I think is nice. Okay, right there. We'll do our three point edit. Boom, boom, and boom. Cool. The last thing is I'm gonna grab this red car and drop it in. And I know I wanna add this dissolve, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, let's play it back. Once again, a masterpiece. I wanna show you one more trick with the add edit that makes it really, really useful. Let's go ahead and clear out everything that we have in our timeline. And I'm gonna go into my project panel and find a new black video, 1920 by 1080, great. And we'll just drag this in here and stretch it out. Now let's actually put our music back in. And I'm gonna turn off all of my target tracks except for video layer one. Now, let's say we're trying to match the beat of something and we just want to do it really quick. If you hit space and play, you can get into the rhythm and start adding edits as the cursor plays. Imagine you had a ton of really fast drum beats right in a row. This is a great way to add those edits on a temp layer like this black video and then match it back to video that you have that is actually meaningful. All right. That's all I have for you on the ad edit. I hope you agree that it is so much faster than the razor tool and that you will start implementing the ad edit hotkey into your own workflow. Once again, if you wanna play around with the footage and the music that you've seen here, I'm going to add it as a link in the description below. And you can also download the Better Editor keyboard and project presets that you saw in this video as well. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.